The Marvel's Avengers DNA chests and keys are some very interesting items in the beta version of the game and also the most underrated if you ask me because there is a lot of work involved in getting a DNA key and the rewards for well using that key to open a Marvel's Avengers DNA chest are pretty awesome yet people don't actually care about them too much although they should. So, for those of you who have just joined the Marvel's Avengers open beta, I decided to put up this small guide in which we will cover the Marvel's Avengers DNA keys and the Marvel's Avengers DNA strongboxes. So, welcome back guys, Vlad here with a new short and to the point Marvel's Avengers game guide in which we discuss DNA hidden chests and DNA keys. What are they, where can you find them and what can you do with them? So, let's start with the DNA keys you can get in the Marvel's Avengers beta. Here things are pretty easy because the only way to get a DNA key in Marvel's Avengers game beta is by completing to tame a titan villain sector mission. This means that after you finish the story in the beta you will have to go to the war table and select the Pacific Northwest area then to tame a titan mission. Now as you can see the DNA key is one of the rewards you will get by finishing the said mission. You don't have to look for it because it's automatically added to your inventory once you complete all your assignments. Since I don't want to spoil this mission for you, I won't go into details, but after you finish the mission, if you open your inventory, you should see that you've got a DNA key. Okay, so how do you use the DNA key in Marvel's Avengers beta? Well, you will have to find DNA chests or DNA strongboxes. And here things get a bit complicated because to do this, you will have to open the secret beta mission. So your next step is to go to the war table and play the Stark Realities mission. Again, it will be available after you finish all story missions in the beta and here you can also farm epic and then legendary gear as you know from my previous videos or the videos linked in the description. Your goal here is not to complete the mission, although you, you can if you want to, but I will stick to finding the secret shield strongbox which contains a key. This is done by hugging the left side of the area and moving straight forward the moment you reach the starting point. For the sake of this video, I am using Iron Man and I am going to ignore all enemies. As you move towards the other side of the map, you should see a small radar on your left side of the screen. Follow it and it will lead you to a small switch which unlocks a shield bunker. When you open the bunker, if you get inside, just around the corner you will find a very special strong box which belongs to shield. Open it and inside you will find a lot of goodies and also a vault key. As you can see it doesn't appear in my case because I already have it and you cannot carry more than one vault key. Good, so now we have a DNA key and the key that allows us to access the secret beta mission. So it's time to get back to the Queen Jet and from here if you open your map you will see a new location which is the Tundra Vault secret beta mission. Keep in mind that once you play and finish this mission you will have to get the vault key again. Now as I have told you in my previous videos this is the best mission in the beta because there is a lot of loot you can find and this mission takes place in the largest area available for us at this point. Feel free to fully explore it and take your time with it because it's pretty awesome, however I will show you in this video where to find the DNA chests only. From the starting location head forward until you get to the first gate and then once you reach the other side head slightly left and keep moving close to the mountain. Eventually you will reach this small building which as you can see is heavily protected. To open the door you will have to press 4 switches or step on them. This small puzzle you have to complete varies and it is random. Once you hit all switches inside you will find a gold chest and a DNA chest. Let's check it out and see what's inside. Really good stuff as you can see. Ok, but there is another Marvel's Avengers DNA chest in this mission. After you get this one exit the building and head right. Keep moving until you see a very very tall structure. On top of it, as you can see in my video right here, is the second DNA chest but unfortunately I only had one key. Obviously if you have two by finishing to tame a titan mission twice, you can unlock both DNA chests in this 
mission. Obviously these chests are worth keeping an eye on and even though there are only two in the beta you can expect way more in the final game. And that's it, I hope you guys find this small guide useful so stay safe, have fun and if you have questions about the Marvel's Avengers DNA chests and DNA keys let me know in the comment section below.